Uh, I'd like to take just a minute, ladies and gentlemen, one of my sound engineers, a guy named Bruce Jackson. He's from Australia, and today is his birthday. I wish you a happy birthday, Bruce. And happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bruce Goose. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> I don't know how he found out it was my birthday. And the uh, first thing I heard him say was... Uh, he bent over and got feedback in the, in the mic and he said, oh, do you want to eat this microphone for your, it's your birthday or something like that? And he fell over backwards when he knew. And uh, then he came over and shook my hand and I want to wish you a happy birthday and they all broke into happy birthday and he laughed at it was, you know, saw how embarrassed I got. He got, got a kick out of it, just stood up there and watched me as they all signed and I'm going bright red. I only knew two things about him. I knew he had worked for Elvis, which I thought was great, and that he was Australian. I don't think I knew any Australians. We started to work together, he did the sound, and I learned uh, very early on that all Australians are unique. <laughs> he told me a few stories about Elvis. I have here display. This is a cane. This is Elvis's cane that was broken. And uh, rumor had it that this was broken in a fit of wrath against Bruce Jackson. No, I actually just made that part up. <laughs> but he, when he worked for Elvis, he worked at the side of the stage, and and, I, and just it was something that always struck me. I said, "Hey, I got Elvis's guy. Elvis's man is working for me in the house." I talked to him a couple of times in the dressing room, but just bullshitted about everything in general, like his plane and his rings and all this sort of thing. And he just sat there, and just quite relaxed. I'd like to thank my son, engineers. Bruce, Bruce, Bruce Jackson. It's your birthday, Bruce. You don't you want to eat this microphone? <laughs>